just confident that I'm here for as long as I need to be here. I'm just so grateful that the Lord magically got me here. Are you ready, boys? I am super ready. Back the fact that Miles can build things, but his art, I think it's garbage. I wouldn't buy it, I wouldn't go to a museum to view it, and I wouldn't brag about it. I always question my methods, always try to improve, so I thought I could just tack these photos to the wall because it kind of gives it a more voyeuristic quality. How do you feel about Eric? I'm so proud of it, I just, I feel great about it. Right on, man. How's there dust in the sheet? Oh, my God! I'm trying to impart a sense of motion to the background. Do you ever take dry brushes and just blur shit? Yeah. Bob Ross taught me that. <laughs> Dude, I love Bob Ross. <laughs> Happy tree. There's no time to worry about what this thing's gonna look like. Yeah, right? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. You have exactly half an hour until your next big exhibition. Jeez, Louise. See you later. Time is tight. We've got 30 minutes left, and they've still got to erect my two sculptures. It's just like right down to the wire, right down to the wire. Artists right as I connect them with that one screw. Time's called. Your time is up. Can I ask each of you to grab your work and come with me to the gallery? I only have like one screw connecting it, but it's finished. I am definitely afraid about going home on this piece. All I can do is present the work that I've made now and hope that it gets me through this time. Coming up on Work of Art. It's just an ode to simplicity. Keep it simple, stupid. It's like dancing without music. There's no rhythm. It has no sex and it has no status. <laughs> Ryan's laugh is an entity unto itself. <laughs> I'd like to make it my ringtone. <laughs> Ryan's a goofball. I see that you're <laughs> laughing at your work. Everybody else just starts laughing, even if we don't know what he's laughing at. It's just funny to hear him laugh. He's got this, like, <laughs> I kind of laugh. <laughs> Does that say anything like it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> That's really funny. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Please welcome back your judges. Critic Jerry Saltz, Jeannie Greenberg Rowiton, art advisor and gallerist, gallery owner Bill Powers. Hello. And your guest judge this week, renowned contemporary artist Richard Phillips. Richard Phillips does large scale hyper realist paintings. And, you know, I'm showing him like this cheesy oil sketch. So I don't really feel confident that he's going to appreciate what I've made. This week, we asked you to create a piece of art from your experience through the streets of New York and your time at the Audi Forum. Let's find out how you did. Do you think it's a grid of the city? It's not the best piece I've ever done, but it's certainly not the worst piece, and you never know what the judges are going to think, so I just have to have faith, I guess. It looks like he was looking at the car's navigation device and then just kind of overlaying and overlaying and overlaying. Like the whole composition. It gives it a kind of history of uh, 20th century collage, cutty up portraiture. I made a portrait of my girlfriend Susie. This is a nice, pretty, soft painting. I've done so much dark stuff and nothing's bleeding or rotten. <laughs> She owned what it was and then tried to find something humorous in it. I did a series of linear drawings that played with language by using Audi inside of them. It's quite clever. What's this one? That's the Innie and Audi. Oh! It was all of her ideas. She couldn't handle them. 
but not in a bad way. It's alive, it's working on gravity. I think my piece is pretty unique compared to everybody else's. I'm one of the only sculpture projects and it's not so literal, but you still can get the message. It's just like a human heart. Yeah, love like dub, coagulating. Love dub, love dub. Well, clearly this is Ryan's piece. I think I might have preferred just one of the panels. Yeah. I do notice the judges holding up their little notebooks and covering various panels, which sort of scares me. I am worried that I will get my critique that I've been wanting, and now I don't really want the critique because I'm not happy with the work. Huh. What are the wood structures supposed to be? Not bad. Like little street signs? Yeah. Pulls you in. I drew a simple, quiet moment of the city that is kind of forgotten in the clutter and the chaos. Very simple. Keep it simple, stupid. When I get closer, there's a kind of cringy feeling that I get. My piece looks really great on the wall. It's very bright, and it's got little bits of the nighttime cityscape of New York, along with all of the silly mini-me's dancing. I think it's a version of her, or yeah. like an alter ego. This is good work. Original, that's for sure. I'm really proud of my piece. I feel like it looks better than I even expected it to. I'm hoping that the judges see how much I've put into it. She's taking pictures of people, looks like uh, Random. All guys. Oh, maybe they're men who are looking at her. I guess he won the race, huh? At first, I wasn't so sold on my piece, but a lot of people at the gallery show really liked the piece, thought it had a good energy, and it looked really good on the wall. It's a good show. Yeah. You guys all did really good. For real. We would like to see the following artists for the crit. Miles. Jacqueline. Mark. Ryan. And Jamie. If I didn't call your name, you are safe and can move on to the next challenge. You can say goodnight to your peers. Okay, let's start with Mark's piece. When we were driving around Manhattan, I just really wanted to see where I was. So uh, in my piece, I just wanted to represent a stylized version of the map. Did you think about using photography for this challenge? Or? If I had used photography for this challenge, it would seem really flat and a little too graphic, and I wanted something with a little more handmade feel to it. Mark, I think you ended up making an extremely generic painting that I'm afraid, even if it were in a hotel room, could get lost there. The gritting off and filling in and breaking down and breaking down, there's a certain satisfaction with going into all the little spots mm -hmm. and yeah. filling all of them in. But that, in the end, you know, amounts to painturbation in a certain sense. Yeah, it's very true. And, it's very true. And I think that it's important to actually make a declarative statement. I definitely realize that I haven't been taking risks and pushing myself as hard as I can. If given the opportunity, I'm just going to go balls to the wall and see what happens next time. Thank you, Mark. This piece deals with the drive that we took, and the impetus for the work comes from the desires that I had that day that were left unrequited, and I take this sort of fantasy photo of me driving. The fantasy of me being able to drive this car and enjoy myself and feeling like I'm in this, like, badass car. Your pose is very relaxed, so it's both a combination of speed and relaxation. I was thinking, you know, I want to look cool. This is my sort of fantasy. When I was actually driving it, I was, like, struggling and nervous and cabs are cutting me off. The state of mind that you got to is far more complex than the very shallow representation that you have here. This is just way too literal. I don't get what you're trying to say here. Part of making a great moment sometime is letting us fill in the blanks, and you filled in all the blanks for us. Thank you, Ryan. Jacqueline, tell us about your piece. As soon as I got into the Audi Forum, all I could think about were all of the men staring at me, and I felt just completely trapped and powerless. Can you talk to us about the mirrored panels? Putting mirrors in, and it catches you off guard, and so I think then you become self-aware, and that's what happened to me when I entered the showroom. I have to say right out, I love this triangle that you've created, where the viewer 
They're, they're looking out at us, but you are the one that has to complete the pictures. It's fantastic. And I think that there is some growth in your work, and that's what I'm most encouraged by. Thank you. This piece succeeds in feeling that pressure, the pressure of the gaze, the pressure of the reflected surfaces that make up the city. Thank you. Thanks, Jacqueline.